I found this Gaja espresso machine in the reuse zone at the local dump a few weeks ago. Somebody had given it away because it wasn't working anymore. And I decided I would learn something from taking it apart and see maybe I could learn how to fix it. Maybe I just would learn something from figuring out and failing. And I took it home and I cleaned it up and got it all working great. It was just full of boiler scale and it needed to be taken apart, cleaned, broken down, and fixed all up. And everything worked great for a couple of weeks. And then this morning I found out that, you know, I got up to make some coffee and found a problem. The machine still turned on, but no heat. No heat coming out of the brew group, no heat coming out of the steam wand. Uh, it seemed like it was kind of dead. So I'm going to show you how to check what's going on with this and uh, see what part needs fixing. So to get into this, um, this, this model of Gaja machine just has a single screw holding on uh, the top cover here, which you access through this funnel. Gotta be a little careful taking the plastic off. Uh, just don't want to crack it. And there we go, that comes right off. I'll just make sure that you can see what's going on inside there. Okay. So inside this machine, you, it's fairly basic. You've got your boiler system here going on. You've got your switches here. This is the steam wand coming out over there. This is the vibratory pump assembly and everything like that. And there are two components that we're concerned about here. One of them, and I should have said before I took this apart, this is unplugged, that's important. One of them is down here, that's the thermostat assembly. We want to make sure that the brew thermostat is still working properly. That's a really simple temperature-based switch. Basically, it, it's a closed circuit at room temperature, and once the temperature rises above a certain amount, it opens, won't pass current anymore. So we should be able to do a basic sanity check on that just by seeing if it has continuity. The other part in here is a piece that's this bit right here. This is called a thermal fuse or a thermal protection link. And what it is, it's basically like a fuse, a regular fuse detects an overflow of current. This fuse detects an overflow of heat. And again, it runs fine and passes current most of the time until it's gotten overheated and then some things melt inside it and it won't pass current anymore. So between those two things, those are the most basic and obvious things that suggest what's going on with my coffee maker. And we can test them with a simple basic multimeter. This one's a digital one, but anything will work. This one's convenient for that because it has a continuity function where it'll show that there's no circuit, but if I join these, I get both a, uh, a reading and I get an audible signal, which is really nice for this. So the first thing I want to test is that thermostat. And I'm going to do that just by backing these, uh, backing these clips off a little bit here so that I can get a probe in. And I only really need to get one of them off. I'm going to go in there. Polarity shouldn't matter here. So I'm probing one side of the thermostat, probing the other, and I get continuity. So that suggests that my brew thermostat is fine, that that's not our, uh, not our problem here. And so the next thing that I'm going to look for is this thermal fuse here. Now, originally, you can probably see there was a, uh, there's a screw and a little bracket holding this down, and I had to take off a little zip tie and slide back this piece of plastic tubing in order to expose this little thing. Now, this is a, a, a thermal fuse that fuses at 184 degrees centigrade. And again, if it's good, it should have continuity. It should pass current from one side to the other. Problem is it doesn't. And just to check, yeah, that's fine on if I'm both on the one side and both on the other. But as soon as I'm trying to pass any current through there, it's not going anywhere. Luckily, this is a cheap part. So I'm gonna order myself a new one and I should be back up and running. Thanks for watching.